Today we'll be answering the question, is flat truly justice? Throughout the years, many people have presented different arguments on the issue of small breasts for big breasts. However, one of the prevailing arguments that has lasted throughout the years is that of flat being justice. Now today, we're going to be using the concept of fluid physics in order to prove this theory. Now, fluid physics is what it sounds like. Here's what it is. Fluid physics is the physics of fluids, alright? You got that? Okay. Now let's go. Now, as you see here, I'm going to draw a line across this broad's breast. Okay? Notice how the line is flat. Alright? Now if we turn it 180 degrees, then proceed to put some water on it. Notice how the water goes off both sides equally. Equally balanced, as all things should be. As you can see here, this pertains to the concept of justice. The symbol for justice is a balanced scale. Because justice doesn't favor anybody, everything is equal under the eyes of the law. Now, as you see here, let me draw a line over this woman's breast. And now we're going to turn it 180 degrees. Alright, now, when I pour the water on this one, notice how it's not balanced. The water goes into one of her breast cups. Therefore, making it unbalanced. The scale of justice is unbalanced. What this means here is that big breasts are not justice. Flat is justice. Above all else, I'm a supporter of the flat. But even above that, I almost don't subscribe to this argument over the big breasts versus the small breasts. In reality, the one thing that we can all agree on here is that the big dick trumps all.